New details overnight about that commuter train crash north of Los Angeles that left dozens of people injured, some critically. The train slamming into a truck, and we are now learning more about the driver and why his truck may have been on the tracks. Here's ABC's Cecilia Vega. This morning, the man who drove a pickup truck and trailer onto these railroad tracks causing a fiery crash is behind bars. Police arresting Jose Alessandro Sanchez Ramirez on suspicion of felony hit and run. It was not stuck, bottomed out on the track or something like that. It had actually traveled down the railroad track itself. The Metrolink train left East Ventura at 5.25 a.m. Just 20 minutes into the trip, the truck turned onto the tracks and traveled about 80 feet before colliding with the train head on. Police say the driver may have accidentally turned too soon, thinking he was already at the intersection just ahead. But overnight, the driver's lawyer said trucks often get caught on the tracks at that location. It appears from preliminary reports there was nothing Mr. Ramirez could do to prevent the accident once his truck was stuck on the tracks. Ted Maloney pulled victims off the train. There was laptops, lunches, purses all over the place. But investigators say this scene could have been much worse, crediting new technology. Watch this demonstration. The train on the top of the screen, an older model, but below on the newer model, the crash energy is absorbed by the car and transferred away from the passengers. Technology passenger Joel Bingham is thankful for. You're pretty lucky today. Very lucky to be alive. For Good Morning America, Cecilia Vega, ABC News, Oxnard, California.